It's another one of the connoisseur range that we're trying out. 40 pound kit, 1.8 kilograms. And uh, let's have a look at it. Right, so here's the tin. This is the uh, Muntins connoisseur nut brown ale. Uh, we've got their 40 pounds at uh, 1.8 kilogram tin. We've got uh, some simple instructions on the side, although there is. Some instructions inside the uh, the lid, and there's a little bit about the connoisseur range. Uh, the good thing about these tins, is it has got um, analysis information where it says uh, solids 80 to 82 percent, colour EBC is 90 to 100 and bitterness EBU is 10, 20, 10 to 20 so, um, and the it's a hundred percent malt extract uh, malted barley roasted malted barley hops water dry brown yeast uh, is the ingredients so there we go so what we're going to be brewing this with? Well, we are going to add, get this camera back a bit, 500 grams of Munton's spear malt and 700 grams of, let's see that, brown sugar. Um, now inside here, see if we can get the lid off one handed. No, impossible. Is the yeast, which is a month of yeast, and some pipe on size instructions for muttons. There we go. So let's get these. Brewed and in the fermenter vessel. Oh, well, there we go, let's go. Right, so to start off, we've got three litres of hot water uh, in a pan. We're going to add our 700 grams of brewing sugar, like so, and give that a stir. diluted a bit. Right so that's been mixed in so that's 700 grams of brown sugar. Now we're going to add 500 grams of spear malt, medium spear malt. Now it does clump when you first pour it in, but because it's heat there, they'll just sort of disintegrate and we'll be left with a, a very dark brown wash. So Let's get uh, pouring the tin in the ferment vessel and we'll leave this to heat up. Right, so let's pour the 
quart in. This is 1.8 kilograms of wort. This is the Connoisseur's Nook Brown Ale. Quite dark, very dark, treacle like. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, do what we normally do is rinse this tin out with some boiling water and give it a good skidder. That's what it looks like in there. So we're getting virtually all of it out. Now let's add some hot water. Right, so boil some water, and it goes. Cool. And put the spoon in. Give it a bit of a stir and that will melt any residue that's on the side of the tin. Because we don't want to waste any of that wort. on the stand and we'll see the pouring. Now because it's so hot I want to use the tea towel. There we go. And I'll take a clean that tin is. that to the fermenting vessel as well and give it all a good stir. So back on the tripod you go. There we go. Sterilised drum spoon. We'll give that a good stir. two or three minutes and then we'll add some cold water so maybe back in a bit right so we'll pour some water in at a height to get a bit of variation to the 23 litre mark so there's a bit more to go yet so we'll go over the rest of the water Just on the 23, but I've never had a head like that on before. That's definitely aerated. So, time to uh, check the temperature, check the gravity rating, make sure the levels are all right, and we'll uh, get the yeast on, get the um, hubbly bubbly airlock on, and uh, that's one brew done. Right. right guys, so the temperature is 
20 degrees exactly and as per the instructions we're looking for 18 to 21 so that's bang on the bottom of that orange there is 140 1040 and instructions say it should be between 1040 and 1044 and that was pretty much I'll double check I think that was about 1043 so I couldn't ask for any better than that right so there's our lovely frothy head so time to hit the yeast. I'm going to give it a final stir and add the yeast. Right, so. There's the stir. Here's the yeast getting added. And for once, I'm not going to dab it in, I'm just going to leave it on top of that foam and sort of heave it, I don't know if you can hear it. Over my doggy bargain. So there we go. Let's get the hubbly bubbly paint on and we'll uh, we'll see how this boo's going in 24 hours. Woohoo! Alright guys, so this is the nut brown ale. Part of the connoisseur's range from Muntins, and as you can see, bubbling like a bad boy. See you in the next one.